Do you need a tannin filter to fix that nasty yellow lake or well water for your family? Not sure where to start? Want some advice from the pros? Relax, this buyer's guide is for you. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. And today, Anna's is here from our customer service team, and she's gonna help me share with you what to look for when investing in a tannin filter for your family. And you'll definitely learn what types to avoid. So I'm here with Anna today. Welcome, Anna. Thank you. And Anna is with our customer service department, and she helps a lot of you folks that email in with your specific questions about what do I need to fix my water. So I thought she's the perfect person to be involved today with this buyer's guide, and she's going to share with you her wisdom on uh, some of the things to look for when you're shopping for water filtration for your family. Brown water, it could be iron, it could be... Tannins. So Anna, what's a tannin filter? So tannins are organic matter in the water. It's that tea color, most commonly found in lake water. It's, it's not particularly harmful to you, right. but it but it is quite ugly, isn't it? <laughs> That's right. And it stains, it stains everything. And if you have a UV system to prevent bacteria, then brown water can also prevent your UV system from actually working and from actually killing that bacteria. So it is a nuisance and it, and it can be fixed. And if you're not sure about how a tannin filter actually works, I've got a great YouTube video that explains it all. I'll put a link in the description down below. Tannin filter isn't an inexpensive piece of equipment. It's actually quite costly piece of equipment. And sometimes people will say, well, I'm just gonna get a tannin cartridge. Beware of tannin cartridges. And why is that, Anna? They too are costly. They only filter a limited amount of water. Very little. <laughs> yeah, they come in different sizes. That's the smallest size you can get that width but 20 inches, you can also get them up to a 20 inch big blue, and even that. You wouldn't get a whole month out of it, and I think they're around a couple hundred dollars or more. It's false economy, so you really need to look at a proper tannin filter, yeah. right? What's a tannin filter look like? It looks like a water softener. Exactly like a water softener. It does. Yeah, the only yeah. difference is what's inside. The media that's inside the tank, yeah. yeah. And when educating yourself about tannin filters, it only makes sense to know the different components that make up the tannin filter. So if I just have some tannins in my water, uh, maybe it's a small cottage, maybe I'm not that picky, and uh, I really just care about my drinking water. Is there another way to get rid of tannins? You can get a reverse osmosis system. So if, if it doesn't bother you for, you know, the, the showering and all of that, it's just your cottage, you're not even doing laundry there, you just want safe drinking water, you can get a reverse osmosis system. And we actually have the Hume Water Saver 75 with the cottage package, so it comes with tannin filter cartridge in it and you can also get it with a UV light to kill the bacteria. When it comes to salt, it uses way more than a water softener. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah. Sad but true. Usually a one cubic foot tannin filter, which is kind of, you know, uh, the most common mm -hmm. size, usually goes through about three 40 pound bags of salt a month. And can folks install one themselves? Yeah. Your videos on how to install a water softener are the same for installing a tannin filter. So some folks can watch that and feel that they're able to install it themselves. If not, then any local licensed plumber can do it too. And a tannin filter is super easy to install. In fact, it installs just like a water softener. I've got a great YouTube video playlist that describes the whole process. I'll put a link in the description down below. So what are some considerations when folks are thinking about tannin filters? What should they be shopping for? So you want to find something that is high quality. So made in North America is always going to be higher quality for sure. Non-proprietary again, so that you can easily find parts if anything needs to be replaced maintenance wise. You want to make sure that there's support available, whether that's in videos, customer support, someone you know that you can email and get some questions answered. You want to make sure that you get the correct size of a system. So you want to make sure that the system that you end up buying is actually going to eliminate the amount of tannins that you have in your water. So again, that comes down to testing and getting, getting help from professionals to, to but get But you don't want to oversize it because of the salt usage, right? Oh, you yeah. know, So you have to realize it's gonna go through a regeneration cycle every three days. So you don't want to oversize it because then it's gonna be using 
Way even more, more salt. salt. Yeah. Right. There's metered valves on these guys too, right? Yeah. So what happens is that for one cubic foot tannin filter, for example, it'll give you 500 gallons of capacity or three days, whichever okay. comes first. All right. So if it's a cottage, you're there on the weekend and you've got a whole bunch of people over and they're showering and doing all of this stuff, you may blow through 500 gallons in a day. Mm -hmm. So at least it'll go through that regeneration cycle. You'll still have lots of tannin free water the next day. But then on the opposite side, if you're not there during the week, it's not going to be cleaning itself not needing to because water's not being used. But it will after three days. So what I recommend is you're going to be away for a while, shut off your water. Oh, right. If you shut off your water, it's not going to regenerate, it's not going to use that salt. And the other thing, consideration, carbon filter. The tannin filter can leave, after the water has been filtered through it, it can leave potential fishy smell. That's solved by just having a cartridge carbon filter placed after the tannin filter so that you can eliminate that, that yeah. chance of, of that fishy smell. Something else you have to be aware of too is that pH. The tannin filters tend to lower the pH of your water. So if you're starting off with relatively low pH water and you put it through a tannin filter, it'll lower it even more. So you may have to put in a calcite filter to bring the pH back up okay. so you don't start getting corrosion in your plumbing. And if you're looking for more information about any kinds of tannin filters, I definitely encourage you to check out our websites, watereastore.com in the US or watereastore.ca in Canada. We offer free shipping and discount pricing. And we've got another review here from from Harry B, and this is from July of this year. The knowledgeable and helpful support provided by Gary and his team has provided my wife and I confidence in our water supply for our expanding multi-generational family. The ability of the water e store to tailor to my needs and the exceptional follow through confirms that e-commerce can provide efficient and personalized service. Thank you, Gary, Colleen, and all. Thanks, Harry, for that. I appreciate that. And for your business, of course. Click here for your next video on tannin filters, and I'll see you there. Any questions or comments, add them down below.